Hey, welcome to the Living Yoga Series. My name is Darren Main, and today we're going to be talking about Atman, the question being, what is the true self? And this may sound like a boring question, but I promise you it's the more interesting of all the questions we're going to cover in this series. The Atman, or the self, the true self, is our true nature. If you read the ancient texts that inspire yoga, it talks about the self as being an unending source of joy and bliss. So if that is true, perhaps understanding what it is is really important to us as yogis. So I'd like to start by reading something to you. This is from my newest book called The River of Wisdom. And then we'll talk about it for a moment. My mind has evolved from that of a child to that of an adult and passed through countless changes along the way. My heart has known great love, heartache, joy, and anger. It has shifted directions more often than the wind. My body began as two cells, has grown, aged, and passed through sickness and health. Even the face in my mirror is different than the one that once stared back at me just a few months ago. But through this state of flux that has defined my life, there is a part of me that has been entirely the same throughout. This changeless part of me has sat quietly witnessing, at peace and smiling softly. Now the reason I read that is because I feel like it summarizes what the self is. All of us have changed continuously. And when we identify with the changing parts of who we are, we deny the eternal part of who we are. When you were a child, your experience was filtered through the mind and the body of a child. When you were at grief, your experience was filtered through that grief. When you were in love, your experience was filtered through that experience. And all of that is wonderful. It's wonderful to have those experiences. The problem happens when our ego attaches to that and says, it always needs to be this way, or it should never be this way. This is wrong. I should not feel this pain. I should not feel this discomfort. When we can identify with the true self, the part of us that has been along for the ride since the beginning, what we do is we drop into that well of uninterrupted joy and bliss. Now, Many of us have joy and bliss in our lives from time to time, but it's very much interrupted. Maybe weekends going for a nice long hike is a source of great joy for you, but it's interrupted by five days of work in between. Maybe falling in love brings you a great deal of joy and bliss, but it inevitably is followed by a breakup or an argument with your partner. So we, it's not that we don't experience joy and bliss, it's the uninterrupted part that's important. Once we learn how to identify with the true self, or Atman, it doesn't matter if we're having a good day or a bad day, if we're rich or poor, if we're young or old, if we're healthy or well, we experience joy and bliss. Now that doesn't mean you don't still wish things might be a little different. When you go into Ben and Jerry's, you're hoping for a particular flavor of ice cream. And that's perfectly fine to have a preferred flavor of ice cream. But what happens if you go into Ben and Jerry's and they don't have your preferred flavor? Can you be at peace with Chunky Monkey instead of Cherry Garcia? That is the key. So yoga teaches us over and over and over again to witness the change as it's happening but to detach from it so that we can identify more fully with a part of us that is changeless and formless and eternal. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to subscribe. You can set an alert so you'll know exactly when a new video is released. You can also visit our website, which is thelivingyogaseries.com, and there you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll put all of this in the show notes below. You can also email me or leave a comment in the comment section on YouTube with any questions that you might want me to address in future episodes. I'd be happy to tackle them. Namaste.